Alex Wood, a lefty from North Carolina, gets the starting assignment. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Well, Matt, if Alex don't light your fire, you're working with wet wood. This is one of the top young left-handed pitchers in the game of baseball. Sneaky, quick, funky arm angle. That's nothing. Dodgers stepping in next. You're watching NL West action on MLB Network. Jeff Samarja is on the mound for the Giants in this one. What do we need to know here, Danny? Well, Jeff Samarja, the pride and joy of Valparaiso High School, Valparaiso, Indiana. Seeing the ball well, or he would have swung at that pitch. Sometimes in these long, epic at bats. Oh, look at Turner to first. He's out. Great reactions on that one, and a good job to get down on the ground in time to smother it. Still had to get up and make the throw, and of course, he did that too. Swung on and hit pretty well out to deep left field. And trouble it is, it's down for extra bases. And he will coast into second with a leadoff double. Well, unfortunately, being close isn't quite good know. enough most of the time. Love the Alex. effort in the outfield, and he was close to making that play, but instead it's a double. That's a risky play, though. Could have been a lot worse than a double. New netting rules this year. Another full count pitch home. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Back goes Puig at the track. And just short of a home run, this ball's off the wall. And he is in there. And the run will score as the Giants stake themselves to an early 1-0 lead. When this thing left the bat, I thought it had three-run homer written all over it. But it bounces off the wall, so only one run scores. And now a chance for his buddy to return the favor and bring in one. Or maybe He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. And he recovers to make the play, so a run is across to score, but they do record the second out. That grounder was hard hit, and sometimes the runner at third will have to hold on a ball like that, but he was off on contact, and they opted to take the out at first instead. Fastball got him looking, as that had two seam action on it, one gone. Up next for the Dodgers. Right than that. That's that big sweeping slider. If it was a little closer, you might get a swing. Liner towards second. That's in there. Base hit. And they're on the board as now it's a 2-1 ball game. Hey, sometimes you just got to tip your cap right there. You execute a nice pitch down in the zone. You think you're going to get a ground ball or a swing and a miss, and you find yourself with a man on. You get a left-hander up and throwing in the bullpen. And nothing's a bigger backbreaker to a team than watching the pitcher drive in a run. Got him. So the damage winds up not being as bad as it could have been as they'll strand the bases loaded. This side is retired. So that one, he'd like to have that one back and be able to take a good hack at that pitch. Lofted in the air out toward right center. And he'll lay out to make a spectacular catch. Wow. Certainly a highlight reel grab that we just witnessed. So here it is again with show track. And the high 90s route efficiency is what stands out. He read it off the bat exceptionally well and closed ground on it. Three, at least make the guy work for it. He's doing that, and he's even gotten himself into a good hitter's count now. Dives, and he hangs on for the out. Wow. Who says first base is where they hide the guys that can't play the field? More of MLB Network Saturday baseball after this. No outs. Rift toward the gap in right. Taylor is on his way home. One run is scored. Here's a second runner around third. And he's in there safely as they take the lead with two runs scoring on the play. You simply cannot offer up a pitch like this to a hitter of this guy's magnitude, especially with runners on the bags. He makes a living off frozen ropes to the outfield like this. And he watches a splitter for a called third strike, and the side is retired. 
So it's two runs on two hits, no errors, and a runner left. We're Soft liner to the left side. Leaps high as he makes the catch. Well done. Off the bat, that had soft base hit written all over it. But a nice snag there by the infielder on that soft liner that could have been a potential base hit. Right. Three called, and the inning is over. Dodgers leave one. Six innings are in the books. Score holds it three to three. Here he comes again, one, two. And the three inning run. goes away in unceremonious fashion on a swing and a miss at a ball way outside the strike zone. When we return, it'll be Andrew McCutcheon. Ready with another two-strike offering. Slap hard the opposite way. And as it turns out, the two-out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. One left for San Francisco. Do the pitching, and best-case scenario for him is to push this one into extra innings. And he'll strike out here yet again. As it's been a ball game to forget thus far, four strikeouts. Wow, he's just a lost cause in this one. That's the fourth time he struck out in this game alone, and that's not something you'll forget very quickly. That's about as bad of a day as you can have. Ready with another two-strike offering. And a slider swung on and missed, and the side is retired. One left for L.A. Score remains tied at three to three. We'll be called upon here to hit with the game on the line. Number 60, Andrew Cole. And he strikes him out to retire the side, so we'll play at least one more. And look out. Oh, that ran in and got him. And intentional or not, you do not want to be hitting pitchers out there. Man, that's going to drive the manager insane. He loses control of his release point, and now the go-ahead run moves 90 feet closer to scoring. He's going to have to make some good pitches now to get out of this. Now the three and two pitch. Hit to short. He'll come to the plate with it, and they finally get an out here as he's forced at the plate. But he'll put this in his pocket and be content with just the one out. So a good decision there. Here's Austin Jackson, the center fielder. Swing and a fly ball. This ought to at least get the go-ahead run in. The catch is made. Here comes the go-ahead run for the plate. He's safe at the play. They've broken through to take the lead. Hey, putting together good at-bats late in the games can really help out. And how about this sack fly right here? Good at-bat that leads to his team getting the lead here in the late innings. Digging in to try it again, Buster Posey. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. One one popped him up Bellinger has room in foul territory and that retires the side two hits for the Giants lead to a run in the inning one last shot here as we go to the bottom of the 11th now it's the Giants four and the Dodgers three from the pen and they've saved him for the 11th as he'll try and take this one home. Two two is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Now battle. The two two is offered at and missed. He chased it for strike three. No problems for him on the mound since he's come out of the pen to start this inning. That's back to back K's and he's the Dodgers down to their final strike. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Well, they had to put in a couple of extra innings of work, but hey, listen, a win is a win. 
and any win is good, especially on the road. And it's a 4-3 finish in this evening's ball game. Corey Garrett claims the win out of the pen, his first. Mark Melanson earns the save out of the bullpen, his first of the year. So that's a wrap for us here tonight. For my partners in the booth, Mark DeRosa and Dan Plesak, and the entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB Network. Have a good night, everybody.